Welcome to a sold-out Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Diami Kraken. You know they're named after a monster sea creature, so the fans are called Finns. That's because they're trying to keep the team afloat, Grim. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The New York Threats battle. The Diami Kraken. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, and these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. First down and three. Second down and seven. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a great turkey. Looks like he does have some turkeys getting drafted on his back side from that bad bird he had last year. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snapped. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Come on. 
And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, knocking everyone. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Great play by the defense results in an interception. Boom! Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play second down and five i'm gonna say Nick. oh you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and that will bring up third and one. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and win. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. It's first and ten. And he's running. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense schmuck. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. Yeah. 
looks like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he breaks away. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. <laughs> He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Serve those runners now and consider passing more. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and ten. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the teams are lined up for the kickoff just catch it run it back and don't die First and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the cornerback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> he tried to throw the ball, grip, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. trying to fuck a grease oh great play he is on that receiver like glue you know when i was little my dad used to make me eat glue my tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth and i couldn't talk your father was a very smart man bricks very smart hot one hot two hot three. oh and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there <laughs> No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can. He's got the ball now and is going to try. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, man, he really... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. 
And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Second down and nine. Slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! I'm a high-scaled fellow. I am a hell of a fellow. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he punched his way out of that tackle. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. Defense gets another pick. Man, oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Second down and more than the QB would like. If he had getting killed by a bucket this time, his bucket. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And the offense has only 
two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outgrin. Third down and ten. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sure. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Sounds like new every day. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and a lot. Should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger pick. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost... Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. Hot one, hot two, three. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? At this point, with multiple interceptions. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. Now, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy in the school. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And that's the end of the second quarter.
Seminole will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. And oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Oh man, what a throw! That sonic blast. And he just wrestles away from that side and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. And it's first and ten. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shuffle your socks. Does the QB know which team he's in? Like bricks and bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. throws another pick. He should have eaten his Sleenies this morning. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for him to dance. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Boom, dead 
him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and ten. defensive play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grim you're right and that's another turnover for the defense and he's off to the races <laughs> Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. The QB looks angry at his offensive line, and I can't blame him. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? Third down, and the punter is warming up. The defender says, I don't think so. Whoa, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. You now this takes me back to those crazy days of my... Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And 
and it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my phone. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick. He will. Second down and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. And that'll bring up second and one. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. He is really getting down out there. You know, he spends most of his days roasting in the pits of hell, so he's got to make the most of every opportunity to dance. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Watch out. The ball carrier's brought a chainsaw to the feet. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He just got crushed. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Is that right, man? Something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. You know it. <laughs> First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and nine. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Yeah. 
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot, two, hot, 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 hot. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Needs a miracle. And I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, uh, I forgot my point. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. Third down and forever. Is this one of those new good at running quarterbacks I keep hearing about? It doesn't seem like it. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And the defense gets another pick. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, 
Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Second down and long. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Third down and long. Kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Bricks' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but unlike Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Not one. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good... The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout. So they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? Maybe if they use their last time out. Hot one, hot. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Hey, man, I was here on the now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And 
And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of it. he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. Put it, put it. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just, it looks like we've got a penalty here. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. No matter how many years in the league, I gotta tell you, this don't get any less scary. Oh. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. And they'll keep the drive. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! Second and three. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls play. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. He could go all the way. Crick and Blues on their home turf. Is there anything that could be more disappointing to a Diami fan? Well, how about when you go to the beach and a 70 year old German guy with a pop belly bends over with a G string and shows you the whole caboose? They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome.
once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.